figure out where we left off. Oh, right. And we'll wait for people to get here. Hmm. Let's look at. Let's see if any Homestuck uh, Fanforge art came in. Oops. Over the weekend. Let's see here. Homestuck. Ooh, there are some I need to approve. <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> it's just alone on a Friday night. God, you're pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Cal, what's this one? It's pretty. It's like a stained glass aspects design. Oh, pretty. Oh yeah, I love those. That is really pretty. What else do we have here? Oh, it's a resi. Oh, that's good. This one is really pretty. Yeah, who is this that did this? Let's see. Hi, Team Touche. Crimson. Crimson. Oh, it's the same person who did this, uh... Cute, uh... Aww. This is this cute trickster one a while back. Aw, tricksters. Yes. Oh, they're very really cute. Oh, <laughs> that's very sad about being a trickster. <laughs> that's really cute. That's great. Uh, let's see what else we have. We have. Oh, I like this one. Oh, it's another one from the same person. Uh, oh. Self within self. That is super cool. I like that design mm -hmm. a lot. Oh, yeah, I like this. This is very cool. Yeah. Oh, God, the trickster. So the trezzy is nice. Oh, peachy. Good morning, everybody. We're just looking at what came in over the weekend. Hmm. I'm not a... F it's not a phase dad. I'm a zodiac sign. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> what's, on the, what's on the last picture? Of it's, this, <laughs> this isn't a phase, Mom. It's, it's who I am. <laughs> Oh my oh, god. No. Oh, he's got like great on his face. This is great. <laughs> Cassie, I DM'd you on Twitter. Did you see it? Oh, maybe not. I was checked out all weekend. <laughs> Let me see. I'll check it now. Oh my god, I'm signed out. Okay, so. God dang it. I'll check it in a little bit, Mel Song. I. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna do it right now. Um. I. My ex stays here over the weekend, and she goes through and uh, signs, like, she'll get on my computer to use it, but she'll sign me out of everything. And there's nothing more annoying than, like, getting down to s sit down for work, and you're signed out of your Discord, you're signed out Aww. of your Twitter, I'm like, God. Can you use separate browsers? Uh, I wish they would. I wish they would just use, like, Firefox or something while they were over, but nope, they just signed me out of everything. I'm like, God damn Aww. it. <laughs> it just makes Monday so special because I have like this book full of passwords because I don't remember. Oh, same. I, I write them down everywhere. Yeah, because <laughs> there's so many. Like it's ridiculous at this point. And they're like, we well, can't use the same password for everything. I'm like, okay, well that I get well, that. You can use the same password and change it a little bit, so I don't have to work with my brain so much. But then you don't remember, like, if you have, like, I have a book full of them. That's how many passwords I have to keep track of. So it's like, how could anybody remember this? We don't. <laughs> we don't. I feel like an old person when I have this password book, though. Where's it? Where the hell is my Twitter password? I don't know how to get in. Uh... If I use the password a lot. Then I, I just remember it. But if I don't, it just, and I, if I didn't write it down, then it's lost forever. <laughs> yep, I have a lot of those that every time I have to log in. Oh, there it is. Every time I have to log in, I uh, uh, 
have to reset it. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't know. Um, let's check my DMs here. If by that what? thing you mean, Marcus, what I think it is, maybe? What I don't know. I think... My memory is very foggy. Oh, god damn it. I th <laughs> Sorry, hold on. I apparently, okay. apparently I... So the other thing that happens when I write these down is that sometimes I have to change my password on the fly and then I don't update my book. So I'll write... <laughs> oh, oh, Melisong. Melisong, can, uh, can you tell me what is on the DM? <laughs> and I'll get it later. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look through the rest of these. Well, oh my god. Oh, I did see this one come in. It's so cute. Not but I with her oh, I love little you. horse. Oh, I love this so much. <laughs> oh, adorable. Friends. Oh, it waggy. Their little ears, so cute. Oh, it's the same person who I did this. Is a foreign. I know this because I do the same thing. The what? <laughs> with the long ears that are like. Oh. Kind of like they're cute. Yeah. And like sh gold ears or something like that. <laughs> they're very cute. Oh, they are duplicates. Oh, that's right. I did see this one because I was checking things. Um, my shot, the huge bitch shirt. Oh, god damn it! No, I have oh, to get in then. Okay, hold on. I love this shade. I love this shade too. Apparently, this one, this was an idea where it came with crayons. It was oh. with a box of crayons. Uh, okay, I'm gonna f do my forgot password. God damn it. That, you, the most annoying thing about having to do this forgot password is um, is that then it logs it out on my phone, right? And so then I have to re-log oh, yeah. in everywhere. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, new password. Okay. All right. I'm finally in. We are on a page. I did it. Oh my God, Melissa! <laughs> oh, it's so good. Okay, I'm gonna move this over so you guys can all see it. Secrets. <laughs> oh, that should be Oh my God, Melissa, submit that to um. Put that in the fan forge so that I can Me. pull the art for it because it's so good. <laughs> I want to wear that so bad. It's really yeah. good. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't take like, I like this style. Like, I like how the... <laughs> it's perfect. Huge bitch, blah, blah. Look at this assholes. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, uh,. Submit it tonight, yes, please. I, I'm gonna pull it early before the 413 challenge is over just because I want it separately. I want to wear it to the local little tiny anime convention. Um, Hell yeah, might get that shirt. I know everyone needs to get this shirt. <laughs> A huge bitch. <laughs> I feel like people internally can be like, Are you serious? Like, is this just okay? Be like, it's a joke. You probably won't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Bell song, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Approved. Oh yeah, someone did a Homestuck 2 picture. This is cool. So, for Homestuck 2, I actually, we're currently getting the, I think they're signed the contract. It required a different contract for us, so that's why we hadn't we didn't have anything on our site about it. We had to. I haven't read Homestuck two yet, but I looked at the pictures. <laughs> oh, you looked at the picture? <laughs> yeah, I look at the pictures first, and then I'm like, am I gonna read this or not? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's very good. I don't know. Oh, the squiddles is so cute. Ah, I want all of this. And the quest for fist buns. Bunts. 
I want a password book now. Don't know why, but I want a book with all my everything. Do it! There's Just don't do it if you have roommates. There's an album with the Squiddle songs, and there's this one song where they where Squiddle <laughs> sings, like, and it's, it's, it's very cute, <gasps> but also very sad. <laughs> oh, squ uh, the Squiddle song? Yeah. That was like a whole album, and I'm gonna That's see cute. what the name is. Yeah, let's see what the name is. Oh my god, yeah. concerts. Oh my god, look at this little cow. <laughs> oh my god. It's so Aww, cute. He looks terrifyingly adorable. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, I love it. A pure cow, someone says. Uh, control T. Oh, this is the... The... Uh, trickster. That is a wild shirt. Yeah. That is awesome. Oh, this weird... <laughs> I saw this one come in over the weekend. I really like it for some reason. <laughs> it's, it's it's so... It's nice. It's very Homestuck. Yeah. Okay, so the album is called Squiddles. It's a 2010 <sighs> album. There's a bunch of... Songs. What's it called? Squiddles. Uh, oh, Squiddles, album by Homestuck. Yeah. yeah. Wow, there's a lot on it. Yeah. Oh, it's like all different. Cute. I might listen to this later. I, I, I think I had one of the songs from this album on my alarm clock. <laughs> really? To wake up yeah. to? Yeah, it was a nice one. <laughs> I but a little bit sad, but very nice. <laughs> I th I used to have. I think my current wake up tone is, uh, it's Final Fantasy. I do know that. I think it's the, it's the the menu song that do 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 the one that kind of goes oh, up. Nice. Um, but I never hear it because I always end up, like my phone will vibrate a couple times first, and that wakes me up before I even hear it. I when I had the alarm. I used to wake up before the alarm clock even goes off because of anxiety. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, okay, that's all the homestuck. Nice, some good stuff came in over the weekend. Um, and for anybody who doesn't know, if you go to, you can just go to Four Fans, and then you can view all the current entries if you want to like vote on the things that you want to see get made. Um, and then you can go here. And you can see them all here, too. I hope my parents are not too loud. I apologize. Oh, no, you're good. You are totally good. Uh, we left off on 2905. 3297. Yay. Oof, you are too far. Okay, if Solix is a piss... Wait, what? Okay, so if Solix is a... Piss blood? Does that mean trolls pee in yellow instead of like how they cry? We had this conversation, right? What? <laughs> we what? Had a, we had a conversation before about like what color trolls pee in. Like, would they pee in their color of their blood? Okay. And would that be weird? Okay, see, when you sweat, it kind of like has a similar, um, it kind of like similar to your brain. So I, I assume that they would have it in this blood of their, in the color of their blood. Yeah, and that's... With that too. It seems like I all of like their that. bodily fluids are that color. Yeah. Yeah, so I would assume that their blood is gonna be... Or their pee, okay. or their sweat. When Aqueous sweats, do you think it's, like, blue? I, I, I guess, maybe... I, I really don't want to talk about uh, Equiance sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I am very forgetful. I thought my brain thought of this on the fly. Maybe it was remembering. Horse sweat. Horse I think sweat. we had this yes. discord. Mm -hmm. I love that we have got to the discourse of of troll urine more than once so far. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's. You'll I'm into that. I like it's it's funny. <laughs> piss and blood talk. I have a really inappropriate story about piss and blood. Um, I don't. I'm just gonna tell it. Uh, there was this. There was um. Back when I lived in Michigan, there was a couple I knew, um, and I went to this event. Let's just say in Detroit, 
and uh, I went to their hotel room because um, we were meeting up with them, and their the hotel room was completely trashed, like everything was torn up. There was a uh, the window was open, oh, no. but the chair had been thrown at it, like smashed through. Um, the walls were destroyed. Um, what the fuck were they doing in there? I don't know, but the walls were covered in 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 and pee, and uh, blood, and uh, other bodily things that are not appropriate to say on stream. And yeah, I, I feel like that was not very nice of them to do. That. No, they were, uh, they were a couple people that I knew, but they, yeah, they went off the rails that night, and they were, like, they were on drugs and stuff, and I, I did. Oh my god, it was horrible. There was broken glass all over the floor. Um, oh, yeah, that it was. Very dangerous. And... Whew, it was wild. Was this an 18 plus convention? Yeah, it wasn't like an anime convention. It was. Um, it was like a. It was like a fetish ball up in Detroit. So I mean, but still, I mean, yeesh. Can you imagine yeah, like you being? Yeah, you don't just trash. Yeah. People. Property. It was rough, man. I was like, you guys are... And then, like, when they went down the hotel hallways, they just, like, were smashing all the lights. It was... They were too hardcore for me. Your name is Pee Pee Poo Poo and... <laughs> Gog? Do you need no, a toiler? <laughs> what? Furcon? No! It was not Furcon. It was nothing anime related. It was, like, it was, like, um, like, a fetish ball. Like, a, uh... If you, I don't know if you know, it's like, like a uh, fetish stuff, you know, whatever. Yeah. I grew up near Detroit too, but never went to something like that. <laughs> I grew up in, yeah, I grew up in uh, Ypsilanti, Michigan. I was just like an hour and a half south of, or no, not an hour and a half, like 45 minutes south of Detroit, I think, southeast Michigan. Um, anyway, <laughs> was a... What a good note to start this stream. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about something not gross. Um, like our precious Jade. Um, uh, who we left off examining a punch card. Um, kind of getting back to more confusing Solidex things. Uh, I think John was the only one we really saw doing punch card stuff before, right? Like... Doing that sort well, of thing. Well, there was a little bit with like every character, but it was so confusing that you probably erased it from your memory. I <laughs> had that way too. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, all right, do you want to kick us off with uh, this? Please. Cool. Jade examined punched card. What the heck is this? Jade carved totem. Here we go. Day, day. Oh yeah, there was more about this uh, totem, or the lathe and the totems people were saying really early that I feel like we haven't gotten to yet as far as explanations when they are saying that totems were like their coolest, their favorite thing about, or one of their favorite things about Homestuck was how totems worked. Yeah, I like it too. It's it's very interesting way of... It's like, it's, it's interesting. I, I don't know how to explain it in words, but I really like the content. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Let's see here. Uh, do you want to read for Jade? Yeah, I Perfect. really like your surfer, Dave. It's just such a treat to listen to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dave, are you busy? I don't have much time. I'm about to make my entry item and it's a little confusing. I think the more players we add, the trickier they are to um, activate. Like yours was, I figured we could brainstorm about it while John passes with the kernel. Hello? Knock, knock, knock. What? <laughs> <laughs> knock, 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 knock. What? <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Damn it, Dave, this is really urgent. My glasses are talking to me. My glasses are talking to me. Knock, 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 knock. What is happening to Dave? Let's see. 
on the next page. Oh, the... <laughs> what? Oh. He got neck, mugged. Neck, 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 neck. He got mugged and he's now in a secondary location. Oh yeah, that's that plush I wanted to make in the lower left hand corner, those weird, horrifying... I feel like the only way to make a plush like that is if you took... If you made its teeth out of, like, um, mm -hmm. dried, uh, corn kernels. <laughs> corn kernels. Uh -huh. Interesting. Yeah. I have no idea what this, uh, <laughs> <thing. laughs> It'd be so horrifying looking. Yeah. I, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Neck, 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 neck. Dave, Wizard Paradox Sister. Oop. Mm. Here it goes. Oh. This looks like roses. Yeah. Oh, mm. Rose. She's so precious. Mm. And meanwhile, Rose is looking at Dave sleeping. <laughs> Rose, you, John. Ooh, aww. He's still wearing, um, Briska's cosplay yeah. outfit. Sleeping in the middle of an oil sea. Oh, but because of course. <laughs> yeah. John, wake up. <sighs> Plastic sword toy win. I wish. Oh yeah, that would be great. Wait, what happened? Where are you? Hey, is that your... No, Bill, no! How <laughs> so many times must you say goodbye? Oh. No, no, no! Oh, no! Well, at least you are pretty sure she doesn't live in there. She's probably still back at your house baking or something. This is like hey. John experiencing the death stranding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> John, Pastor Jade. There's... Jade, are you okay? What, what happened? Blah. <laughs> There's no answer. Oh no, why is he throwing it? Oh, what's he doing? You're just so frustrated. Wait, why the hell would you do that? What was the point? <laughs> John, equip goggles. <laughs> goggles. In spite of being an idiot, you still have a while about remaining communication device. And as a fortune would have it, someone is communicating with you now. This girl better have some damn answers. John, answer Rose. Okay. Do you want to read um, for John or Rose? Yeah, for John. Okay. John. Wow, what happened? You were sleeping. Yeah, I, I know. On the corner of my ghost bed, in the middle of a null ocean, for some <laughs> reason. Why were you sleeping? Everywhere I look, I see boys taking naps. Uh, uh, I, I have no idea. I remember what happened. I was in the middle of helping Jade, and then I guess my bed crashed, and I got knocked out, I guess. I, I was dreaming. I couldn't have been out for that long. Because my dream was really short. You weren't. Ten minutes, I'd say. What were you dreaming about? I was on the battlefield again, but I, I did not have time to seek the treasure. I wouldn't imagine so. But I did see a black guy wrapped up in my ghosty bed sheets. He was acting very suspicious. A black guy? Oh, I do not mean like an African-American or anything, like a like no Thanks for clearing that up. Three <laughs> Bill. <laughs> this fellow had a hard black shell, like all the dead guys do. I followed him for a bit, and, and then some sort of ruckus transpired, and I woke up, and now Jade won't answer. Do you know if she's okay? She's fine, but you're not. I'm not? Remember how I said your planet was on fire? Oh, yeah, that didn't by any chance stop being a thing that was true, did it? It did not. Do you see that oh, pinkish hue behind you, bleeding over the horizon? Fuck! 
drowned. This is all oil. It's all just exploding. It's like second to what it. I don't think the fire's rate of propagation is quite as fast as you're imagining, but the danger is still significant, especially considering that your bed is sinking. Fuck. <laughs> Relax. Look to your right. John, look to your right. This will at least buy you some time. If you stay calm and we work together, we can get you out of this. I'm practically an expert at escaping fires by now. Okay, thank you, Rose. Hey, how do you know this thing, anyway? Can you see me somehow? Yes. I have a crystal ball. Oh, man, really? Yes. Like a magic one? Mm, I think so. Can it show you the future? Is that how you know what's going to happen? No, it can only show me various locations in the present moment, as far as I can tell. My perception of the future has been informed by other sources. Like what? Informants. There. <laughs> Whispering gods, memories sifted from dreams, cryptic readings from unearthed talismans, conclusions drawn from riddles deciphered, every gambit you'd expect a quest to extend to an emerging seer, just as I presume an heir would be supplied with what's needed for his maturation, assuming he's looking for it. Oh, yeah, point taking. I, I guess I should be looking, huh? You probably should be doing what you're doing. Okay, so, with what you learned from your dreams and gods and magic and stuff, do you have it all mapped out now? Do you know everything? I didn't know why you were asleep, did I? Yeah, but neither did I. I have more pedestrian sources too, you know. Sometimes trolls blow their tidbits about the future, and I can't help but take note of it, just as they do with you. You also have access to the oracle clouds in Skya, whereas I do not. Oh yeah. Knowing the future is no remarkable feat here. It appears to be a fact of life. I'm not all that special, John. Okay, but I guess that's not all I'm talking about. You seem a little different, kind of um... Okay. Really? I just mean that before it felt like we were in this adventure together, figuring stuff out as we went along, and now you have all these answers because of magic and other mysterious reasons, and you want to use your powers to break the game, and I still don't really understand why and blah. I'm not actually trying to caricaturize a grim sorcerer. There's still a perfectly intact piece of my mind which realizes how ridiculous it is to be flying across rainbow oceans with a couple of magic wands and a salamander and a little cowl. And it wasn't without swallowing a little embarrassment that I revealed I was using a crystal ball just now. It's all pretty absurd, and yet it's been fun, and above all, practical, for solving our problems. Okay, yeah, you're right. I, I guess I just started worrying that you're getting away from us, but... You know everything, and your magic, and you have a crystal ball, and a salamander, and you're basically a wizard, and that's cool, and it sure does sound fun. But I kind of think it was more fun when you just did things like read books and tell jokes. I still read books and tell jokes. But then... <laughs> John, that was mean. Sorry. <laughs> well... If you do not have any objection, very later I will drop by a planet again and rescue you, thus breaking the spooky spell, but put on you by your nefarious shadowy masters. Sweet. That way you will stop being so grim, dark, and ominous, and basically completely off the deep end in every way, as now painfully obvious to anyone with a brain. I will do my best to occupy myself as a benignly and unmagically as possible, as benignly and unmagically as possible until you show up. Yes, please write some happy stories in your journal about like li lively horses and conspicuously not about wizards or sadness. Happy? What is this strange, unsad emotion of which you speak? Yes, <laughs> this is good. You oh, are Rose. mysterious. These are jokes. These are what they look like. Do not be alarmed. <laughs> Jokes. Are those the things people say when they want unusual noises to come out of the pliable crescent-shaped holes sometimes found in people's faces? 
Last rose, last. Oh, so these crest kinky looking holes where last comes out of. Those are smiles. Observe. <laughs> I need to make a note of this. Excuse me while I open this tome bound in the tanned, writhing flesh of a tortured hell scholar. The screaming will subside shortly. Okay, I will wait patiently. <laughs> Continue to not be alarmed as I record your advice with runes stroked in the black tears bled from the corruption-weary eyes of 50,000 imaginary occultists. And then brace yourself for the fabled back black death trance of woe gothics I will sleep into, while quaking in the blood eldritch throes of f brood faster tongues. No, Rose, that sort of nonsense is exactly what is out of the question. I see things are more urgent than I realize. I'll have to venture there straight away and slap you right out of that silly old trance. One is not easily shaken from the brood faster tongues, John. They are stubborn throes. Oh, well, shit. Besides, you can't come to my planet right away. You will need to recover the treasure first, because it must be delivered to me. Oh, yeah, that is this treasure anyway. And how is it gonna save us? You'd probably be disappointed if I described it. Tell me anyway. It's called the tumor. <laughs> You're right, that is the shittiest sounding treasure I have ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're adorable. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, what is this tumor supposed to do? And what is the significance of removing it, I guess? Does that mean I'm hearing the battlefield or something? Like the planet's doctor? Hello? Rose? Sorry, I was preoccupied. By what? Oh, let's say troll stuff. You know how it is. Uh... Incidentally, looks like you will have your own troll stuff to attend to shortly. Oh, I will? Yes, involving the one who hates you and the one who likes you. Um, which one are those? You don't have a guess? Uh, carcat and risk. Oh god, I was right. <laughs> there they are now. How did you know? I have to go, John. Talk to your trolls. We'll catch up shortly. Wait, there's stuff you didn't tell me. What happened with Jade? Did I mess anything up with the prototyping? Oh, why can't I remember? Don't go yet, trolls. Tell me. Rose? <laughs> blah, blah. Huge witch. <laughs> we need another shirt. Blah, blah. Huge witch. <laughs> And yeah. then it would have a picture of Rose. <laughs> yeah. Oh. John, answer the one who hates you. Oh my god, this picture is so good. <laughs> yeah. Just That's... screaming. I love that. This is what it feels like talking with him. Alright. Do you want to read uh, John I'll or Karkat? Okay. Yeah. It's me again, asshole. The one who hates you, remember? Or should I say future remember? Again, with knowing my name, it's really fucking unsettling when you do that. I wonder how far back you know it. I'm going to have to make a special point of not being the one to tell you. I don't want to give you the satisfaction. Hey, shut up a second. I need you to be nice for a change. And do me a favor. Have you talked to Jade recently? Can you tell me what happened to her? Who the fuck is Jade? Uh, hmm. John, the fact that you always seem to think I can read your mind just underscores what a harrowing goddamn idiot you are. Jade is the girl who I'm pretty sure just entered our session. She's my client player. Oh, you mean the one who fucks everything up? Uh, yeah, I thought you knew that. You talked to her a bunch of times, apparently. Why the fuck would I know that? This is the only the second time I've ever talked to a human, and that... And the first time, much to my migraine-compounding regret, was with you. Oh, okay, so I see what is going on here. We're finally getting to our first couple of conversations. Cool. <laughs> no, not cool. What is going on here is very much anti- and antithetical to your primitive human notion of Earth cool. You see, in our first conversation, we didn't exactly get off on the right foot. It is a foot which should have reeked of your verbal ruination, but instead it smelled like... Well, let's not get into that. I am here to do what you and your pathetic cadre of co-humans failed to do, which is set the record straight. 
I am here to utterly annihilate your shit. I will stay on message this time. I will not be deterred by your goofy mannerisms and your absurd penchant for reveling and self-abuse. We will get off on a fresh foot. And by fresh, I mean most foul indeed. Its toes are wriggling under your hideous pink nostrils. Now breathe deep, your misfortune, you sad little clown. This is the end of you, that aroma you detect, wafts from the bouquet perched on your corpse box. Nobody cries, except for your shitty ghost. Heavy sobs from a specter of unqualified failure. It is a symphony to my angry ears. So, the smell is from a fruit, but also from funeral flowers. This metaphor is confusing. Shut the fuck up, I'm only getting started. Yeah, I know. This is all the big time trolling I was looking forward to. And it's pretty good so far, and ordinarily I would be excited to hear more. You see what I mean? You are actually enjoying this. What a sick fuck. But I really am concerned about what happened with Jade. My request for a favor still stands, even though this is early you and you still think you hate me. Don't question the sincerity of my hate. Just don't even fucking go there. Okay, fine. You hate me so much, like for real. <laughs> Can you just tell me what's up with Jade? Can you see her? Yeah, I see her. It's making me mad seeing her. Can you tell me what happened? What did she do that was so bad? <laughs> Here I am talking to you moments after you did the terrible thing and you still don't even know what you did. Incredible! You are truly dumber than I thought. Okay, I am an idiot. Can you just <laughs> tell me anyway? Why? What? The, the ground is shaking? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. What you fucking did is what's going on. So tell me what I fucking did! Oh, you wanna know what you fucking did? <laughs> yes, please, no more stalling or I already told you so. Or any other maddening nonsense, just tell me! Very well, John Human Egbert. I will tell you what you did. Ready for me to tell you what you did? Here's me, telling you what you did. Okay, here goes. What you did is as follows. As such, and thusly. <laughs> <sighs> He then proceeded to tell you what you did as such, and then proceeded to watch thusly. Oh my god. <gasps> Jade, Jade, enter. enter. Show me anyway. Oh. I love this loading screen, it's so cute. It is really cute. <laughs> Oh shoot, I gotta get the door. Oh, I'm missing it. <laughs> Fuck. No, I can't see. I know, I had to. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Thank you. What? You what? You have what? You took out 40. Okay, I'll add that too. Okay, thank you. Reload. Oh, okay. I gotta rewatch it now. All right, I'm gonna yeah. refresh. Sorry. Okay. okay. I'm gonna start over. Sorry. <laughs> I had like my ex is here, and they brought me my debit card back. All this stuff just happened right now. Okay, I'm watching that. 
Okay. The Cosby Top. The Land of Frog and something? Blindfold on. I it's a bite and look, I guess. How she supposed to enter? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I think that might have been one of the more confusing ones for me. Um, I can help if you need I will help. definitely need help. Aw, Eldritch likes your icon, Arsha. Aw, oh, thank you. I oh. drew it myself. <laughs> it's so pretty. I love your style because I can, like, for a lot of reasons, but also because it's like I can instantly tell it's your style. Which is really Aww. cool. Aw, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, talk at us. What happened? Okay. Uh, yeah. okay. So, <laughs> I did, I was confused. Okay, so I'm not sure why Beck was, what, in the tree, hanging, no, like. No, that wasn't a real Beck. That was, like, a piñata. Oh, okay. Because I was, it's like. It's a puzzle. It was Jade's puzzle. Oh, okay. So, I assume, okay, I'm assuming that Beck went into the kernel sprite at some point, and that yeah. it just, it was going so fast, I kind of missed it, because then I saw that the, that Jack, who I assume is Jack, evolved? Was it still Jack? And, like, got yeah. Beck face? It's, yeah, it's, it's the ring, it's from the prototyping. Okay, but I thought, oh, it's because Jade was entering. Because I remember we yeah. had the discussion before that, like, if something happened as they were entering, then it affected it. But if they did it when they were already in there, 
then it wouldn't affect the king or queen, like the powers of the yeah. ring, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that oh ants. Um, okay. Oh, no, it is. Yeah, it's like the season for sugar ants. They're starting to like. I always have a problem here. Um, they just show they're up. Here for a snack. They're the worst. And you smush them, and they smell like um, oh. uh, cleaner. Like a, they smell like. Like a yeah, like a like a spray cleaner. It's weird. Ants, yeah. Beck Noir Maybe plush. The what? I, I, oh, I, I, yeah. I think that I read somewhere something like that where even you smash him and that's like a defense mechanism. Friska put John to sleep. Beck had to do the prototyping to save Jade. Wait. He then destroyed the earth. I like how this is all said, like, very matter-of-factly, like, this still, like, this yeah. makes sense to me. Jack got Beck's powers, then it's revealed he was the demon the trolls were hiding from. Yep. The demon. Oh, I'm so confused, guys. I've the tried so hard. The one that destroyed the Prospect Moons. Yeah, hey. talking about it later. Before that. But that's okay. That's a lot of information. you you're you're bound to forget something. <laughs> I'm I am, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so explain to me, Arsha, what I saw. Yeah, that Eldritch, Eldritch, uh, pretty much. Explain pretty much, yeah. Yeah. That's why Car yeah. freaked out. Their sessions, Jack was important to him. Homesuck is a large game of circles. The beginning and the end are one and the same. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So Vriska put... Why did Vriska put John to sleep? Like, what would be the purpose of that? She's an idiot. Just because. That's my reason, because I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like... Beck had to do the proto... You'll find out. She explains. Oh, so we don't really know yet. Okay. Uh, Beck had to do the prototyping to save Jade. So he then oh, destroyed the Earth. Yeah, Why did he destroy the Earth? Do we know that yet? I, I feel like it was... Because well, I'm not sure myself. I feel like it was just like an outlash of powers of Beck being prototyped with the game. Okay. There'll be a dress. Sure. If she didn't, then Beck would have proto and Beck Noir in Trolls. So Beck Noir, as a character, is essentially Jack with Beck powers? Wearing a ring. Yep. Oh, okay. He was trying to be a good dog. He stopped the meteor, but all the energy wrecked the earth. So Beck... Is that mean Beck is dead? Because Beck went into the Colonel's Sprite? Uh, he wasn't dead. He was alive. But he's not anymore, right? Uh, well, I guess. Yes, yeah. no. Wait. So, wait. You'll see. You'll see <laughs> okay. what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna keep going. Oh! Yep. Oh, no. Yeah. You made an unbeatable boss, is what you did. Oh. You killed Bro. Yeah. Yikes. The idiot you call the Jade Human went ahead and prototyped her freak of Eleusis while you decided to take a nap for some reason rather than doing what a leader is supposed to do and stop her from being so fucking stupid. Uh... Oh. Your version of Jack, who you were somehow dumb enough to entrust with the Queen's ring, became essentially indestructible. He then went on a rampage through your pointless session, which hilariously was already a lost cause, even before this happened. I'm just beside myself with the spectacular breadth of your failure. And if this wasn't bad enough, your solution later would be to open a rift in some glorious gesture of meaningless suicide. 
and I have no idea how, but the rift you opened enabled him to enter our session just as we were about to claim our prize. Ooh. And now we're the ones who have to fucking deal with him, so thanks a lot, shithead. Oh, babe. <clears throat> Yay, Brother Thibault Elusus? What's that? Oh, okay, my bad. I forgot I was talking to a member of a gener generically bizarre alien species. I guess some humans have a Lucis, while others don't? Whatever. Her Lucis is the creature which serves as her custodian. Ah, uh, you mean her dog? I guess. So, so she brought a type in Beku? Why is it so bad? John, do you even know anything about your friends? Is this how human friendship works? You just don't know shit about each other? Her Lucis exhibits the properties of a legendary entity called a First Guardian. It's an absolute monstrosity. What properties? Okay, for starters, notice how the furious wall of fire currently rushing toward you is turning green? Uh-huh. Yeah, those fucking properties. But it's a lot more than that. As the defenders of their planets, they're virtually omnipotent. Prototyping one is absolutely inconsciousable. The result is a boss a hell of a lot worse than what we had to fight, and we prototyped 12 times rather than a measly four. And one of our prototypings included an outer fucking god the size of a city. I hope this puts in perspective how terrible you are. Uh, yeah, it kind of does. I'm sorry, Carcat. I didn't realize you were screwed up so bad. Alright, well, I wasn't expecting you to man up and apologize for it, so I'll give you credit for that. But, it's not stopping me from detesting you, and as sure as fuck isn't going to derail this runway hate train, just so you know. Oh yeah, I know. You're really gonna tear me apart. I just feel kind of bad I fell asleep. I don't know what came over me. Maybe I ate too much lasagna. Hey, inopportune naps happen in this game. Except to me, being the stalwart model of leadership I am. I managed to stay awake for several weeks straight. I didn't want to let my guard down for a second. But then, after it was all over, and we retreated in failure, I foolishly did. And that's when I saw him. Kaka, you didn't sleep for weeks? <laughs> He's a leader. You okay over there, buddy? <laughs> huh? Jack. I didn't recognize him when he first appeared, but on Prospect, I saw him up close, without all that ridiculous green shit obscuring him. I could hardly believe it was really him by the way he looked, but I just knew. He was wearing a ring I didn't recognize, certainly not one belonging to our queens. We destroyed those. He wore it on his, his one hand, which was covered in our mutant blood. And then, just like that, he killed me. And I guess, even though it was probably just his way of saying hi, I still felt kind of betrayed. B betrayed? Yes, John. Betrayed. Ah, uh, okay. When I woke up, everyone here was buzzing about these aliens called humans. So naturally, I'm like, who gives a shit, right? Well, wrong. I pretty quickly determined that he was from your session, not ours. So he wasn't really my Jack. And I was sort of relieved. Relieved, but also enraged. I'm sure you know the feeling. Ah, uh, not really. <laughs> Dog! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyway, no, it's, it's cute. I like how they're all like, ugh. Anyway, that's what happened, and that's why you were such a disgrace. This is probably the last time I will ever explain all this stuff to you, because I can't imagine it will help my headache much to repeat myself. I bet it'll be pretty frustrating for you in the past. I suppose it was. But meh, it is all water under the bridge, which is... Where trolls and their shenanigans belong. Ha ha! I am laughing my ass off at your funny fucking joke. I hope this is the caliber of humor I can expect from you in the future past, Egbert. It'll be a real treat trolling you with more of those nub slappers to look forward to. Oh, there will be lots of great material. Just wait until I start handing out rabbits. You'll love it. Wow, what a cryptic statement. Check this out. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, guess I'll get going and let you die in your fire, which you really should, but you're obviously not going to for some reason. I've got to rewind the tape on this clusterfuck and figure out what went wrong. Yeah, I should get going, too. My friend is pestering me, and I doubt she likes to be kept waiting. She's sort of the bossy type. Why would I... <clears throat> Why would I care about your dumb human friend and her petulant, meaningless demands? What could... 
that possibly have to do with me? Uh, yeah, you're right. It's probably of no significance to you whatsoever. <laughs> Ugh, here, John, human dipshit, have a second, and penultimate, fuck you. Fuck you. May it mark the second of many to come, and the magnificent denouement of many received. Together, we just tugged at the bow to unravel a present full of go fuck yourself. Happy wriggling day, you ugly pile of trash. <laughs> oh, I love Carcat so much. Yeah. I forgot how to pronounce those letters again. Uh, V, W, or W, V? W, E. Examine for station. There's something familiar about this. W, E, examine pumpkin. Hmm. <clears throat> I got a drink water. <laughs> Talking like John will make that to me. <laughs> You feel as though there is something you've forgotten, something concealed in long, slumbering memories. W E examine. You have not inspected your treasure in years. You have spent ages guarding it without understanding its purpose. Its only purpose you have understood has been to remind you of things you have taken care to forget. But now, you think it is time to remember. W E remember. Of course, the boy on the screen, he must be the same one. You do not know how it is possible, but you are sure it is him. John is the boy you saw that day. John is the windy one. Here he goes flying on about the sea. Mm. W E defend treasure. You got a Z of approaches. <sighs> this pajama drogue surely seeks to put his meats on your newfound Chloe treasure. He's definitely a Zif. You have a knife for these types. He's either Master Zif himself or at the very least an apprentice of one. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> John, wake up again. Oh, oh, he's there still. <laughs> w E command the Zeeps appre apprentice. Oh, wait, it does make sense to call him that, since Risk is kind of like guiding him. Call him. Himself. The a Zeev. thief? Yeah, call him a Zeev's apprentice. That does make sense now. I understand now. <laughs> oh, I don't understand. <laughs> we'll see later. <laughs> there is so much left for him to do. Sir John, I have fun. Yes, and it seems you have remembered your human etiquette as well. John is busy at the moment. He's talking to his friend. Oh dear, the purple text human again? Yes, her. What about the green text human? That, that one was me. John is asking about her, but to no avail. She's currently preoccupied. Dad, please continue to serve. Listen her graciously, good John. You will. Why are you on a small rock? Are you in a pearl, sir? <laughs> Why, yes, he's in a pearl. He was stranded there on account of a nap instigated by the one he apprentices under. The Master Thief is that what you are talking about? Ah. The Master Thief is that who you are talking now, John? <laughs> Read. <laughs> No, now he's talking to the knight. I don't like the great text knight. It is an unpleasant human. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a human. John, stop talking to the great text not human immediately. <laughs> no, stop. I don't think he read 
his etiquette book very thoroughly. He likely made the foolish mistake of eating the pages first. <laughs> there, well, John, listen to me. John, 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 stop. Boy, stop talking <laughs> to the great text, stupid dumb. Listen to me. Stop, <laughs> you crazy boy. John, stop. <laughs> John is too engrossed in the conversation to, to, to entertain your wishes. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. The matter he is discussing is quite urgent. Perhaps he'll humor you another time. Ah, so that is your plan, is it? Yelling will get you nowhere, don't you remember? W E. Push it. Caps lock. <laughs> yep. So. Caps lock. <laughs> oh. Door closed. Wait. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> You see what happens when you forget your manners? <laughs> Ooh, whoa. Yeah, sick fires. <laughs> <laughs> Some sick fires. Oh no, John. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh, Vriska. Yeah, apprentice answers you. Do you want to read Vriska or John? John. Okay. This is what happens when you try to become Karkat. Door stuck. <laughs> um, psst. Hey, brave leader. John! Stop ignoring me. My messages should receive top priority. Who are you talking to? I don't appreciate being snubbed like this. How ungrateful can you get? Man, come on! Hey, Riska, sorry to keep you waiting. Waiting? Oh, I guess so. I hardly even noticed. I am like this really huge deal, and I have a lot of stuff to keep me busy, remember? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry to cut this short, but this isn't really the best time ch to chat. I'm in the middle of an ocean of oil that is ablaze with a lot of green fire. <clears throat> I, I need to figure out a way to escape. Unfortunately, I fell asleep for some reason. My bet landed here. I can't believe I was so stupid. Don't beat yourself up about it. I was the one who put you to sleep. You were? Yeah. Uh, you can do that? Yes. That seems to be the limit of what I can do to your primitive species. I guess our brains don't really work the same way. Who knows? Hmm. What do you mean, limit? Are you saying you can usually do more than that? Duh! So much more, John. I have a lot of great powers. When we have more time, I will tell you all about them. Okay, that is pretty cool, I guess. But why? Why would you put me to sleep and put me in this predicament? John, soon you will understand that you are meant to rise to greatness. This can't possibly happen unless you're challenged. There will be times when your limits are tested. This is one of those times. I know this because I can see your future right here in front of me. You should trust me. Okay, but I kind of get that, but it's also kind of odd. If you're seeing my future and you know those things are the outcome, then why are you going back and like, guessing blowing yourself at this event? See what I mean? Oh, John, this should be so obvious to you by now. <sighs> hey, you are going to become a great hero. That much is sure, but I want to be the one responsible for it. And now, I'm pretty much guaranteed to be. Okay, that sort of makes sense, I guess. But it's kind of hurting my head to think about you don't have to think. Just leave the thinking to me. All you have to do is dig deep down, find your hero powers, and get yourself out of this jam. You can do it, John. Be the hero. Just like in one of your movies about sweaty, rugged, adult human males. Aha! So you did watch that TV I said. What did you think? It was okay. I admit, it was a little bitter, better than I expected. Yes. I knew it. But who cares? Let's not get sidetracked by films about wounded, muscular renegades. By the way, John, have you ever considered growing your hair out? I bet it would look fabulous. No, it would look so stupid. 
I don't know about that. I have an eye for fashion. Eight of them, in fact. I thought you didn't want to get sidetracked. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Hmm. Anyway, putting me to sleep and landing me in the hot water is one thing. But you sort of indirectly caused a much bigger problem. Before I fell asleep, I was about to prioritize something really ridiculous to make Jack weaker. I'm pretty sure that it would make have made Jack la lose both eyes, both arms, and give him silly blue hair, and possibly also make him be a girl. He probably would have been pretty easy to beat, but instead I was prototyped by Jade's first guardian dog loses, and now he's unstoppable, and he becomes the one who is stealing up all that trouble in your session too. I mean, it sounds like your intentions were good, but you probably didn't realize to what extent you were messing everything up. Don't be absurd, John. Of course I realized what would happen. It was pretty much the whole point, you goof. What? Risk, why would you do that? Jikas, calm down. But, no, why should I calm down when you just said you deliberately sabotaged Sabotaged all of us. Relax. Listen, John. Regardless of what I did, he's already here. I know this consequence will be hard for you to accept, but whenever you feel angry or confused about it, just repeat this to yourself. It should become your mantra. He is already here. Say it, John. But what does it mean? It means what it sounds like. He's already here. Here in our session trying to hunt us down. Man, this is, should be elementary to you by now. No matter what you or I or any of us did, Jack's here now. That's the reality. And if I didn't stop you, it would have changed the reality for us here. We'd still be hiding on this rock and he'd still be out there sniffing around for us. He wouldn't just disappear. That's not how this time stuff works. All that really would have happened is that I would have allowed you to do something you weren't supposed to do. You would have prototyped with your pretty blue doll because, of course, deep down you know you are obsessed with me. And then you and all your friends would exist in a splintered timeline. And you wouldn't even be able to talk to me anymore. And then you'd be doomed. I mean, more doomed than you are already. Trust me, I am really smart. I have this all figured out. I don't know if that makes sense. I mean, it kind of does, but something doesn't really add up about it. If you knew he was going to be created regardless of what anyone did, why did you decide to involve yourself that way? Like the way you're involving yourself with me become a hero or whatever? You just answered your own question. I did it because I wanted to be the one responsible for creating him. Ah, oh, but why? Because, John, it only makes sense that I would be the one to create him, since I am also going to be the one to kill him. That is the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Don't be that way. Just because you have your whole reckoning ahead of you to kill Jack and somehow fail doesn't mean you have to be bitter about it. I'm not bitter. I just think your plan is dumb. If he's as so strong as Karkat says, he'll probably kill you. Karkat doesn't know nothing about anything. He never really appreciated how powerful I became. Nobody did. I am easily the strongest troll by far. I am also extremely lucky. That's one of my powers, John. Being super lucky and making my foes super unlucky. Uh luck actual a real thing yes and i've got all of it i am completely untouchable you sound pretty cocky you should be careful about that that is totally how people have big time downfalls especially when they act kind of nefarious nope i don't have to be careful too lucky for caution to matter anymore Dems the brakes. But don't worry, once this is all said and done in your session, and by some incredibly lucky break of your own, you manage to survive the scratch. We might a if oh sorry, and by some incredibly lucky break of your own, you'd manage to survive the scratch, we might actually get the chance to meet. And if so, assuming I haven't gotten too bored waiting around and mopped the floor with Jack already, maybe we can take him down together. Wow. Uh I sure would make me more nervous, you're Jack. John, that's something a loser would say. Come on, you should have no reason to be scared of me. 
By the time I'm through with you, you should be even stronger than me. This is the way it ought to be, I think. You really think we'll meet? It is a distinct possibility. So, um, if, if we meet, are you going to... Uh... What? Like when you see me... John, what the hell are you trying to say? Garth had said that you, you might. What? Oh, jeez, I, I don't know, never mind. You shouldn't listen to anything that loudmouth says. He's had his shot being in charge and failed miserably. It's my turn now. Scratch that. Our turn. Fly, if you say so. Now quit whining and get yourself out of this mess. Dig deep down inside that pink, nerdy little torso of yours. Find your awesome hero mojo and do what you're about to do. I will talk to you again after you figure it out. Bye! Wait! What am I about to do? Oh, that, that was a nice... Oh, you don't even deserve eight! Oops. <laughs> John, apologize. <laughs> John, I apologize in a mannerly way for my big letter. <laughs> Come on, you can't both yell and try to be polite at the same time. It's one or the other. But I must urge you yeah. to address this danger. <laughs> the danger currently has John's full attention. What would you like him to do? Why don't you do the windy thing? What? John has no idea what the windy thing is. Maybe you could be more descriptive? Boy, you're being very... <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Do the windy thing. Make it blow and gusty, you fool. You can't die yet. You're a hero. Not in the tasty fire. Make the breeze happen. Do the windy thing. <laughs> He really has no idea. Better hurry, he's in a big trouble here. Do the windy thing, do the windy thing! <laughs> John suddenly does the windy thing. Aww. <laughs> Whoa! Nice. Whoa! Oh! He's... on the planet. <laughs> Fly, Poopa, fly! Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, who's Poopa? Nobody, just a loser. Look at that, you did it! Did what? You mean the windy thing here? <laughs> Dave Snoop. Uh oh, who's reading her journal? No, or Dave. Reading. Oh, well, it's a book. A okay. book. <laughs> dream bubbles. In his dream. He's the prophet. It's him. Charles <laughs> Dutton. You've reached know. the end of book five. Oh. Ooh. I thought book five ended before John Rice. Uh, hmm. Sure. Maybe? Oh, did it? I, I don't know. know. It doesn't say yet. Hmm. Dream Bubbles. December 1st, 95. I slept on Sargot's forge and frost. Its hairs was quilled, and as it cooled, so soon the verdancy it kept above. In slumber it grew a thick winter skin, white as the bedsheet. In their folds the waker dreamt, her breath of steam, her touch as hot as iron, forgotten in the fire. Oh, this, that this too solid flesh would melt. The and resolve itself into a dew. <laughs> All right. Those Ooh. are some words. That Those are some know. words. <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh, what is this? Pretty. Oh, it says the same thing that I read. Oh, yes. Pretty. Yeah. Land of Frost and something. 
Yep. Frogs. Come your plant planet lets you have three consorts. Ah, uh, this music just gives me such a weird melancholy and nostalgia. Oh like, like space vibes. Like I just I love it so much. This feeling is so nice. <laughs> it's uh I like that song. Frog, hummingbird, and hedgehogs. Oh, I missed the hedgehogs. I must have spaced out for a second. <clears throat> Jade and Sarah. Mm. Do you want to keep reading for Jade? Yeah. Okay. Glab, glab, glab. Glab, glab. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, take it easy. I'm not here to give you a hard time like my buddies have been. But you're a troll. And that's what trolls do, even when they say they want some time, especially. Okay, then. You can be the judge of that. I won't be long. I've just come to say a couple things. First, none of this is really your fault. This is swimmingly obvious to everyone here who takes a glubbing moment to think about it rationally, which isn't many of us, but still. Okay, even though I still have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, your Lucis jumped right in there to save you, just like mine did. Well, okay, mine was kind of dead at the time, and she just kind of fell in, kind of drifted down like a, like fish food, and POW! Uh, global spirit. <laughs> what? Glob, 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 global spirit. Uh, <laughs> she was so funny. What a Lucis. It's a big old monster custodian you grew up with. She. What? Sheesh! How freaking stupid do you have to be not to know something like that? I'm joking, of course. Mmm. I just wanted to glub something else to you well, before you start playing, just to get the idea in your head. I am Fafari, by the way. Abdicated Empress to be. Okay, Fafari, what is it? Soon, I will go to sleep and speak to the gods. I will convince them to establish a series of stable dream bubbles where we can meet in our sleep. I don't understand. What's a dream bubble? You'll see. Ah, uh, Fafri, I thought you said you were going to stop using your typing quirk. Did I? When? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure I remember you said that. Hmm. Jade, this is the first time we've ever talked, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it is. I don't know what I was thinking. I just had a major case of deja vu. What's that? I felt like we already had this conversation. Actually... It still sort of feels that way. It's not going away. Well, maybe we did. Hey, by the way, what exactly are you doing there with that toy? You never did explain it to me. Um, what do you mean I never explained it to you? If this really is the first time we've talked, why would I have? Good point. Maybe I'm feeling it too. I have 
what was it? Orca Boo? Uh, feel free, that one was a stretch even by your fish pottery standards. Uh, why do I know that you like to make fish pants? Hmm. Actually, I do remember this conversation. It was in the past. But if it was in the past, then where am I now? In the future, duh. So what is going on? I don't think I'm asleep. I'm not in process. Yes, you are asleep, but your dream self died. Just like mine, remember? Oh, frankly? Now you don't dream about Prospect. You have normal dreams. So this is a dream? It is a dream and a memory. It is the past brought back to life by a witch. It's all those things. Although we are getting off the script here. This is not how the conversation originally went, obviously. You were a lot less patient with me when I was just trying to encourage you. Sorry. I think I'm in the game now, right? Sure. Hey, why don't you tell me about this cool robot bunny you were making? I've been pretty glub and curious about it. Mind if I take a look? Um. Aww. Aww. It's great. Wish I could make something like this. Never had the gills for technology. Hard to work with underwater. Why are you here? Are you asleep too? Nope. I just woke up from my nap a while ago. Remember how I woke up and then messaged you? You had just had a bad dream, and I told you there was nothing to be scared of, which there isn't. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Then why are you here now? So cute. Because, stupid, I'm dead! <laughs> da da da! Bum bum ba! When did that happen, I wonder? I don't know. Wait, when did she okay. die? Wake up again. Ugh! <laughs> you know what my favorite thing is I think I did this last night is w when you have like a dream and you think something really shitty happened and then you wake up and you're like oh oh thank god <laughs> like I, I do that a lot and yeah oh yeah my dreams are too absurd to me wake up and be like yeah that totally happened in real life <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you have got to stop falling asleep. Oh. Jade, get out to bed. You in the bed. The snow is quite deep. Jade, press 30. You'd like to report to John, but it seems you have misplaced your laptop. That's right, it was in the atrium when you got slapped with that stupid blindfold and all hell broke loose. You hope it's okay. It was your favorite computer and your favorite lunchbox. Jade, climb. Huh? Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Jade, turn around. You don't see anything. Someone out there is messing with you. Good thing Grandpa taught you never to leave home without your rifle, even by accident. Jade, Mmm, Jade Strife. Yeah. Shoot the bitch. <laughs> oh, I have to shoot him. Boom. Yeah, it's game. Do, 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 do. Now imps have the power of a god. Yeah. It's pretty dangerous to try to actually shoot them now. It's just like moving through all these different... Places. Yeah. 
fiz dentro da cozinha na água. I'm not sure if it's... I'm not sure if it has a land or just loops like that. Uh, I think these are... So you can stop whenever just... you want. Oh, it just goes through all these different... Oh my god, so little. So she just goes through like every... Cause she's just going through like every scene. Yeah. I think it just loops. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Whoa! Oh, here's Dave. Oh, Beck. Beck, is it Beck Sprite? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, duck. Best friend. <laughs> Blow up the whole thing. Jade, level up. You finally hop off the lovely green guy, Krang, and secure your position on somewhat respectable Kida Eclipse run. You have a lot of climbing ahead of you. I like reading all the yeah. things you, know, you could get. Narcolotop. Narcolo. Yeah. Narcolo toddler. Yeah. Ugly fangirl. Dream team. Fallout bloomer. <laughs> Saucers. Low Kiri. Yeah. Those are cute. Yeah. I want her her full frog levels up. <laughs> Jade think best friend. Thanks back. Good boy. So can you talk now? What do you have to say? Whoa! Whoa whoa whoa! Yeah, <laughs> he talks. That's uh... It's... In very interesting manner. <laughs> <laughs> Her face. You think you will try to keep conversations with Bex Sprite to a minimum from now on? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I feel <laughs> like it might sound like a sun. Yeah, I feel like it would sound just like. This weird spacey sound, like woo woo or something like that. I could see that. Greetings. Hello. You have extraordinarily bad timing. Her guardian will not be pleased with your intrusion. Don't I know you? Yes, you do. You might want to step away from the computer. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. No! No! PM rule. You have no idea how to rule. What orders could there possibly be to give anyway? All you want to do is deliver mail. You don't want to be the stupid queen, and you don't want to wear the stupid mailbox crown. <laughs> huh? This is stupid. <laughs> White queen, approach queen. <laughs> Your new rule, your new ruler seems upset. You understand it is not easy being in a position of authority. You politely inform her that as the queen, she is under no obligation to wear a crown. It is her decision. She should understand that the queen is the sum of her decisions, not her fashion accessory, and no queen makes decisions alone. All wise rulers surround themselves with themselves with trusted advisors, the new queen should understand that she has friends to help her. PM, appoint royal advisor. You make your first decision as the new Presidian monarch. <laughs> the questant receives the new royal insignia. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Love them supporting each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so cute. Yeah. Jade return. Oh. You return to the Grand Foyer. It's a bit less cluttered than you remember it being. 
what happened in here? Where is everything? All the globes and the house guests and the trucks to there? And Grandpa? Beth, what did you do? Has someone been a bad dog? Wait, <laughs> never mind. Please don't answer that. Oh. <laughs> Jade, go upstairs. You return to find your beautiful atrium in ruins. And to make things worse, you're all smiter and totem last place were destroyed as well. On the bright side, it looks like your lunch top wasn't damaged. <laughs> Jade, retrieve lunch up. You have been dying to get back to your computer, so you can touch base with John again. He has probably been going crazy wondering about you, but it seems someone else is messaging you right now. Yeah, I'm just so upset about Jade's whole house. Just <laughs> such a mess. Such a mess. Oh, Jade, Jade. answer date. Hey, welcome to the medium, finally, I guess. Hey, last time I talked to you, I was asking for help, and you were just nagging at me. What was what was up with that, bro? Okay, I don't know what you're talking about, and it was probably some horror terror chirping at you during one of your nap bubble mindfucks. It's not the point, I just wanted to say I just saw you. You did? Yeah, you appeared for a second, shooting an imp, then you disappeared. Oh, yeah, I did get around during that battle, didn't I? It was really intense. Those stupid things are impossible to kill now. No, you can kill them. You'll get better, don't worry. In the heat of the fray, I didn't notice you. Where were you? Three places. I remember seeing you twice before in different locations, but at the same moment I'm standing in the middle of the snowy goddamn field, freezing my shit off. Just wanted to see if you were cool. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. What do you mean you remember seeing me? Was I jumping through time or something? No, I was. This is future me. One of the future me's, that is. You're from the future? Yeah, Jade. That's what future me means. Hmm, John told me you have been doing some time traveling. Yeah. That is really, really awesome. It's okay. Hey, it's pretty fucking cold. I know. It's a really neat place, but it's freezing. So I'm gonna go someplace warm. Be back a while later. Wait, Dave. Ah, stupid lovely cold dudes. <laughs> okay, I'm back. An hour later. An hour? An hour for me, a second for you. I ran around for an hour to get my ass in place warm. Went back in time. Picked up where we left off. Oh, I can't believe how cool is that. This, this is me believing neither that nor its coolness. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I'm sort of used to it by now. I don't think of hours going by the same way anymore. I mean, they are my hours, but not everyone else. They are my hours, but not everyone else's. They're kind of like private hours, all to myself. While well, everyone else is sort of kind of like in slow motion, stuck in the thick of the alpha. Hmm, I don't know if I get that, but okay. Well, yeah, my thing is time, yours is space pretty different things. You get things about space, I don't. Or you will. I will? Yep. Okay, but anyway, you're right. It is cold. I have to go back inside. I wish I had winter clothes. And if I did, I also wish that my wardrobe the fire didn't blow up with all my beautiful clothes inside it. Oh, I'm so horribly unprepared for this. I have never even seen snow before, can you believe that? Pretty unbelievable since you lived on Guam, or pretty believable since you lived on Guam or whatever the fuck, and also inside an active volcano. Yep. Yeah, Dave, that is so where I live. That is an, that is a geographically accurate as it gets about me. Well, I've never seen it either, now that I think about it. No? Nope. Isn't it great? Nah, love is better. Love is not better than snow. <laughs> yeah, it is. Lava and skeletal skyscrapers all melting and shit. How is that not way cooler than snow and, like, more snow? You can't 
play in lava. It's no fun. You can only die in lava. Snow is a big chilly carpet of nobody gives a shit. Like old man winter spread around his nasty mayonnaise and turned the landscape into his personal asshole sandwich. Ew, Dave, no! When I look around, all I see are the miles of unharnessed snowmen. I'm just too damn cool to build. No, this is so lame. I'm hearing insane and stupid guys say stupid idiot things while wearing damn sunglasses. For lame morons. Whoa, Jade, with the fucking haymaker. I need to go look for my teeth on the canvas as soon as shit stops spinning and there stops being like ten of you. <laughs> Why don't we play in the snow later? As soon as you get them. Time. Time. Time then shades. Time. Time shades. Let's go. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Time. <laughs> I'm not gonna play in the snow. Maybe you missed those credentials I flashed, which clearly stated me being too cool for that. Like, federally too cool. Like, my coolness is named after a dead president, plus his middle initial to make it sound extra legit. I know you're joking around. You're not too cool at all. You don't even think that. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were going inside. Forgot. Well, at least make some damn clothes. Something warmer. Why don't you al alchemize some shit? I can't. All that stuff blew up. Blew up. It's a long story that involves a pinata and a gun and a very naughty doggy. I completely mm. understand everything about that practically entirely. So anyway, that reminds me. I've got to talk to John. I've got to get him to make me some new gizmos, assuming that's even possible. No, don't bother John. He's like... I love <laughs> He's on, like, his fucking wind mission or whatever, getting all his ridiculous magic cyclone powers on and realizing his huge blowy destiny as a chump of sush. John has magic cyclone powers? Almost. Wow. You guys are all so much better than me. I feel so lame. We all start out somewhere. Remember how I was like scrambling up that tower to get that egg like an idiot? What the hell was I doing? I was like goddamn Pooh Bear in a tree reaching up his fat fucking poo paw for some motherfucking honey. <laughs> so even though I'm awesome now, like at one point I was plausibly likened to a stuffed animal and you even knew what to do. You told me how it worked out Christopher robining my ignorant ass about that egg. But I'm like, but I was all like, I'm a little black rain cloud, bitch, watch me climb. <laughs> so maybe you're starting out with like more sense than me. Maybe. I actually have a uh, tattoo. Oh, dude, I have a Winnie the Pooh tattoo. Um, <laughs> I do. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, here, I'll show you. It's it's a little black rain cloud, uh, just like Dave. I'll show you. It's a... Uh, See if I can. Oh my God, my pants are so tight. Ugh. It's uh... <laughs> when are when are baggy pants gonna come back in style? I don't even know if I can get my pants up to the point where. When you start to wear them. Yeah, right. I'm just I'm bringing them back because these tight right. pants are are Tight hard. pants suck. They do suck. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it here. Here, Ugh. it's Winnie the Pooh. Here we go. And I am, up, I up, up. I, oh. You can't see it. It's him. I see something. <laughs> <laughs> and there's uh, Winnie the Pooh. Oh, it's really hard to tell. And he's on a rain cloud. Mm -hmm. And there's bees. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's hard yeah. to tell on this stupid thing. But yeah, it's uh, it was funny when I went and got it. They were like, I told someone, they're like, what are you getting? I was like, Winnie the Pooh. And they're like, that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> and I'm like, no, it'll be cool. <laughs> Don't get Twitch banned for ankles. Banned in oh, China. But... Now I'm never going to get my pants down again, guys. Um, well, we're not in Asia, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, in case Egbert lost his computer and game disc, so he can't do anything for you anyways. Oh no, did he lose it in a magic cyclone? Probably some shit like that's what happened. But you're not completely screwed. We just have to think outside the box here. 
We do? Yeah, honestly, I figured we'd have to do something like this. So, I guess, here we are, doing it. Doing what? Well, you're my server player, remember? Yes. I need you to deploy something first, in my apartment. In a few hours, I'll go back there and we can continue this. Oh, jeez, a few hours? Yeah, as in, a few seconds. I'm back in my place now. Fast as hours. <laughs> yeah, now, deploy the Intelebeam laser station. But that costs so much grease. No, it costs practically nothing. Check out how much I've got. Oh my god. <laughs> deploy laser station. What does this thing do? It's mostly pretty stupid and useless, but it'll come in handy here. It reads capture codes. On the back of the cards? Yeah. But we can already read those. Ugh, some are too garbled and complicated. The human eye can't decipher them. Needs sophisticated scanning technology and artificial intelligence to figure it out. Hmm, but isn't the whole point of captures that only humans can read them and, and not robots? Yeah, well, that's why this is so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> they project disk. I guess some captures are so uncomprehensible, because the game thinks like it would be too cheap to let you duplicate them. Like an anti-piracy measure. So, the solution to the anti-piracy measure is to override the anti-spam measure. Anti-spam? Well, yeah, that's what captures are for. They're, like, on the back of cards for a really good reason, because God knows the last thing you'd want was, like, some web bot being able to figure out the code for, like, a potted plant. That would be fucking mayhem. Yeah, obviously. But in order to effectively cheat here, we've got to open Pandora's spam box and release the laser station into the world with its leering IntelliBeam. Now, no captures safe. You'll have bots signing up for email accounts and duplicated potted plants and shit. Oh, no! Basically, robots are in control now. Which is good news and bad news. The bad news is that they're all porn bots, and they've got loads of provocative material they're just dying to share with us. What's the good news? Oh, that's also the good news. <laughs> Babe, I still don't know what you're actually doing here. What does it look like I'm duplicating my server disk? Babe, scan. Oh, to give it to John? Nah, I told you, we're not bothering John. He's got shit to do. I'll just install it. But you already have Rose's server. You're... You already have Rose's <laughs> server. Server play, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and John is mine, not to mention I'm yours. Can you really be a server player to your own server player? Don't see why not. We have to get creative here. This game's already so far off the rails. What else is there to do but improvise? But I guess I thought that John sort of had to be my server, you know? Well, he was. He got you in, didn't he? But now he's not. Been a change of plans. Time to roll with it. Dave, read the code. Well, you're from the future, right? Don't you know already if it will work? Yeah, more or less. I never really studied how it all went down that closely. I just kind of figured the time came to sort it out. Right thing would do would be obvious, like it is now. Managing the loops is a balance of careful planning and just rolling with your in-the-moment decisions and trusting they were the ones you were always supposed to make. By now, I'm pretty used to having my intuition woven into the fabric of the Alpha timeline. Pretty smooth, Dave. Yeah, I know. Shades for everybody. <laughs> Dave, duplicate disk. This will be the disk I use for your connection, while the original will stay bound to Rose's connection. So you will be the server player for both languages? You just keep getting smoother. <laughs> I can't handle all this smoothness. Well, technically, I'll be, uh, I will be your server, and past me will stay as Rose's server, which is to say, present me will, the one in the black in the black suit. Oh, I guess that makes sense. He can keep managing her for a while until she sort of checks out soon and becomes total Ooh, sorry. Totally useless. Then he can start hopping around time like I did, make a ton of money and stuff, eventually become me, and become your server player. Oh, okay, I think I understand that. 
Yeah, see, it's not hard to get the hang of. In the meantime, I'll kind of loiter around this time frame to help you out for a while. Yes, thanks, Dave. Um, what then you know to so check out? Don't worry about it. Just some more future stuffs. Now, I need you to go downstairs. Uh, okay. Jade, go downstairs. I'm just going to cut right to the chase and upgrade your alchemeter so you can avoid a lot of bullshit. I'll give you some codes, you can punch cards, and slip them into jumper blocks, which are, like, really the exact same codes you first gave me when I upgraded my alchemeter, which seems like a hell of a long time ago. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, but it kind of literally is for me. How long? A few days, I guess. Okay, that's not that long. Whatever. Dave, deploy and upgrade. <laughs> Yay! Cute. Jade. Oh god, hurry up and I'll my stuff. Go, go, go! <laughs> oh god! Hey, calm down. Just because it's snowing outside doesn't mean it's Christmas just yet. There's still plenty of things to do before we bother with that sort of nonsense. Take a deep breath, put the cards down, and relax. Dave, wake up. You already woke up when Jade fired her rifle a foot and a half from your eardrum and then disappeared. This idiot here is knocking it up with your ishidus. Someone is pestering you directly into his brain, lest Earth kill him and fade. Dave, retrieve shades. Doof. Step off. Knack. <laughs> you decide he can keep the sword, though. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, answer Rose. Okay. Do you want to do Dave or Rose? I want to do the knack knack. <laughs> okay. Hi there. Knack 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 knack. Don't mind me. I'm just waiting for that guy on the pile of syrup objects to wake up. The glasses are packing again! Knack 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 knack. <laughs> If you don't stop knacking, I will turn you into a thorn bush. Ah, uh, oh, hey, hey, what just happened? <laughs> you fell asleep. Orange Bird Dave killed some monsters and flew away. Jade fired a bullet at an imp and vanished, and you woke up. Oh, yeah, so sh she's here then? Yes. Is she okay? What was going on there? Yes, she's fine. I guess I should catch up with her. You already are. I am. Future you is. Oh, okay. Time travels involved. That's all you need to say. Everything's cool and under control then. How was the nap? Weird. I'm kind of boring. I was in your dream room for a while, spying on you, being all creepy and dream duplicatious and shit. It's okay. I was being similarly wake duplic- duplic- duplicates? Duplicious? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a word I use often. Yeah. What's with your book collection or dream book collection? All your books are bizarre and terrible. No, my books are great. I can recommend some good titles for the next time you're asleep. Nah, but yeah, I understand defending your collection, I guess. If you were in my dream room and talking shit about, about my awesome dream portraits or dream stillers and dream snoop or whatever you would have to have fucking talk did you do anything on the moon besides rifle through my belongings such as remove your shades and turn your gaze ringward by any chance oh yeah i did what did you see horrible things horrible terrible yeah i was like peering through the dark portal of an eldritch red lobster and scooping out its all you can eat seafood basket and when I saw them their voices became clearer. What were they saying? I couldn't really focus on anything specific, but I'm totally I'm pretty sure it was like uh, mm -hmm. a plea for help. Mm. Mm. That's good. No, it was disturbing. So I slapped my shade back on, went and pervert up some sleeping <laughs> girls' room to take my mind off it. It means they're reaching out to you. Oh god, why would I want that? I'm not about to get molested by Kalamai with fucking keys. 
use your powers and like stroke a mummy's power some horse shit and open a dark channel. Tell them to keep their like literal flagella to themselves. I I d what do this two words mean? I am a little bit Lecherous <laughs> is like um Lecherous is like perverted and gross and like 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 oh. like, a, like a like a gross dude would be like lecherous like you're like Ugh. Uh. I don't know what flagella I assume that's let's see flagella flagellum flagellum a uh, slender thread like structure particular uh. especially a microscopic appendage that resembles or that enables many protozoa bacteria or spermozoa etc to swim oh so it's like the little tail on the end of a Microscopic thing. Okay. <laughs> so he's saying okay, like Okay, Dave. <laughs> okay, whatever the fuck you just said, Dave. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to help them, even if you don't like them. They're being massacred presently, already, and still to come. What does that mean? It means time doesn't work rationally out there, nor does space. But that doesn't change the reality of the threat. Who cares if they're getting killed? They're hideous and obnoxious. You're underestimating the nature of the threat. At this point, the threat isn't to our session or to any given universe. It's to the per perpetu per perpetuation of reality itself. You wouldn't be saving them per se. You'd be saving everything. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> They've revealed some of their secrets to me already and given me a few errands to run. This is why you might have observed some unusual behavior from me. Oh shit, you're kidding. No, really, are you serious? I didn't even notice. Fuck, mind blown. Once those convulsions of explosive laughter subside and finish rocketing my very foundation, rocking, I might point out that you have really haven't been as astute as you're implying. You've deliberately fogged your vision light your entire life with ironic eyewear while awake and while asleep, through per though perfectly alert, you've chosen to ignore your surroundings. But now that you've seen them, you've a choice to make. Okay. They will only tell me so much. They would like an audience with the Prince of the Moon as well. We are like the emissaries to what lies beyond this small bubble in their unfathomable dark foam. Durst skirts its edge, and during the lunar eclipse, we graze it, and that's when their intent for us becomes clear. I'm doing my part, but they have a mission for you as well. What am I supposed to do? Listen to them. My understanding is they will teach you how to navigate the unnavigable. The result should be a map. Like a treasure map? No, something a little more astronomical, like a star chart with no stars, hence the challenge. Why? To plot a course through the furthest ring. Plot a course to what? The power source of the first guardians. All oh, right, the green sun. Okay, wait, sorry, I mean the green sun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's much better. What's the deal in this thing? I mean, aside from giving J Dog his devil power and by extension, I guess Jack. What's the deal with it? Yeah. I don't know that there is a deal with it, beyond the deal you just described. It is what it sounds like, a huge sun out in the literal middle of nowhere, and it's bright green. It is simply the green sun. How big? I need a sense of scale here. Is it like the size of our sun, or bigger? Or is it only as big as, like, planet fucking Jupiter? It is nearly twice the mass of our universe. Okay, that's pretty fucking big. <laughs> See how important that contextualization was now? I know how fucking impressed I should be. I mean, holy shit, that's huge. Oh, someone said lecherous. Having or showing excessive or offensive sexual desire. Perverted, oh, okay. usually in a sex way. <laughs> Interesting. Happy I could help. So, okay, I make a map to this thing with the help of a million rambunctious gross tentacle mutants. And then I guess we go there for some reason. Yes. Why do we need a map? Can they just tell us what direction it's in? Point a spaceship that way, blast stuff to adventure. <sighs> hey, 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 no. 
the geometry of the furthest ring is too complex. Remember, it's space-time. It's space-time. It's labyrinthine. In fact, it's not really accurate to call it space-time at all, since it is outside the domain of any created universe where these properties have become instantized and stabilized. I kind of get that time is messed up there with like loops and casualty paradoxes and shit like that. Being the nine of time here, not really sure why navigating the space would be a problem though. Space isn't my thing, remember? What is it like, full of wormholes or something? It depends. The greater the distance you travel through it, the less reliably time flows. And the more time you spend in it, the less reliably space behaves. Time and space aren't as different as you might think. I thought you weren't supposed to know shit about either, seeing as you're the seal, whatever that means. I think it means I'm supposed to know shit about the big picture, which includes tidbits like that, but the insides of my shoes stay free from the grit of the min minutia. Fair enough. So I take my map and fly to the thing. No, I do. Okay, you fly to it. Then what? That depends on if John is successful. You mean with the quest you're sending him on? Yes. Is there anything you do that's not sending dudes on quests? Nothing whatsoever. So he's got to get the cancer out of Sky, right? Yes, the tumor. Yeah, so what's the tumor? do. I mean the tumor. Jesus, can we stop with this fancy <laughs> color text bullshit? I guess so. I thought it was more fun that way. Well, okay, you can keep doing it then. Thanks. The tumor <laughs> is quite <laughs> <laughs> a large growth at the center of the battlefield. He won't be able to remove it without fully realizing its abilities. His abilities. Okay, what is it? Can you promise you won't tell him? It could probably make him more nervous than he needs to be if he knew. Okay, I won't say anything, just tell me. It's a bomb. Ooh. It is set Ooh. to detonate precisely when the reckoning ends. This is how long we have to put this plan into motion. What the hell is a bomb doing in there? It could be a feature of any session not meant to bear fruit. A means to wipe out a null session rather than leaving it lingering in paradox space for eternity. Or it could be a mutation specific to our session. I don't really, I really don't know. First time for everything, I guess. Seriously, where do you get all this info? Did you just get it all from the gods? Are this just a bunch of orders you're following? Not exactly. They've urged me in certain directions and guided my exploration. I've obtained some answers from them, but ultimately, this idea is mine. Plus, I have other sources. One in particular has been quite illuminating. What? I've been referring to him as an informant when people ask, which isn't often. What, you mean a troll? No. He's a man. It's a man who exists in another universe. He wants to die. Sounds like a really credible dude saying me up for trusting everything he says. Only as credible as the omniscient tend to be. Oh, so he knows everything. Yeah, I think that's what omniscient means. But maybe I'll ask him about that, since he's the omniscient one. Even if he's the omniscient, which he probably isn't, what if he's just lying? He says he doesn't lie, but for some reason I believe him about that. He's a convincing fellow. Why he wants to die? He no longer has a purpose now that he's done everything required to summon his master. As the first guardian, he's completely indestructible. Well, almost completely. Wait, what? His power is derived from the same source as Earth's guardian, and conveniently, that of our nemesis as well. Okay, I get it now. When John delivers the tumor, and I do mean the tumor, I and I alone will navigate the furthest ring, and I will destroy the sun. By which I do mean the green motherfucking sun. And in case it wasn't clear, I won't be coming back. Whoa, fuck. A suicide mission. Are you serious? No bullshit, that's not happening. Hey, look, suddenly everything we just talked about was useless because it's time to make a plan that doesn't fucking suck. Let's not be so dramatic. 
I was talking about my dream self. She's the one who won't be returning. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> Those fuckers are all kind of mad expendable. Wait to leave me hanging there for someone who's saying let's cool it on the drama the whole I won't be coming back thing. is a pretty theatrical bombshell for future reference. Yeah, I... Oops, that's true. Your outburst was pretty sweet, though. Yeah, I know. So what do I do? So when do I do my thing? Make this map, which I guess is just like a solid black piece of paper. This is going to be fucking stupid, isn't it? If there's one thing you have more... You have more than any of us, it's time. So, whenever you'd like. As long as convention conventionally speaking, it's quite soon. Alright. So, dug it as long as possible, then travel back to about now and go to sleep. Sure. And if you have trouble going to sleep, maybe you can ask your patron troll to trick the telepathic one into putting you to sleep again. What? Each of us seems to have a troll infatuated with helping us. Haven't you noticed? No. What about the psychopath who's currently helping you? Oh, yeah, Trez, you know, she's cool. Isn't that the camaraderie? Isn't that camaraderie blossoming into some sort of interspecies whatever it's blossoming into interspecies partnership and incredibly shitty cartooning what do you mean get her to trick someone into putting me to sleep again when did that happen just now who did that that would be john's patron troll god fucking trolls too many of them who can even keep track of this shit which one is yours? Is it the absurd <laughs> juggalo one? That would be hilarious. There's a juggalo one? Yeah, see what I mean? She's contacting me now, actually. Oh, okay, well, I'm suddenly not interested, so go talk to your fairy god troll. <laughs> I'll be over there, hey, paving the way for your elaborate dream suicide. When I feel like getting around to it, I mean. Thanks. Later. Oh, it's a good stopping point. That actually, um, like, on the, that makes me really want, um, uh, patron, patron saint, uh, <laughs> troll merch. Really Ooh, bad. That would be nice. Somebody do it. <laughs> that would be really good. Somebody who's, like, that, that type of art would be good, like, here, let me look up, like, um, like, it would look like, uh, so it would look like these, like these classic, um, Icon. really gorgeous icons, yeah, uh, but it would be the patron saint trolls, and they would have, like, the, the, the halos, and it'd be, like, Saint Friska or Saint Carcat, and they would have, a, like, they would be done up like the <laughs> saint saints, Carcass. and it'd be uh, your patron, patron saints, and then they would have, um, uh, that would be amazing. And then you could put all of them on a, uh, on, like, one art print, like, signed up, lined up, but then you could also, like, have them individually on shirts. Oh, my God. It would be oh, so that good. Be adorable. It would be Okay, really imagine, cute. like, a patron troll, and they're, like, holding a baby like it's Jesus, but it's the kid. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it would, yeah, and they would have their, their, uh, their, their, uh, their kid. And be their, and, be their saint. And if, and half of them are not holding the baby properly. Oh yes, they would have to be holding it really weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Hard yeah, like. Be like, ooh, gross. <laughs> gross. <laughs> I like the uh, Saint Wick, patron of firearms and puppies. Hell yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, so there's a really good uh, merch idea if somebody is is feels confident to take this on. I would 100% be behind uh, yeah, something like that. True. The real saints and the other half, the baby is you. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, man. That would be really good, though. I would really... Oh, that one's really pretty. Oh, that's really, really pretty, actually. Uh, oh, I like that. Anyway, cool. So that's a really good stopping point. Um, just as a reminder, we had the FanForge 
challenge going on right now. Um, feel free to get in there and uh, submit some stuff or whatever if you want. If you if you have fan art that's just been lying around too, you don't have to make something new for it. Like you can just submit stuff you've already done, you know, over the last year or so if you don't really have time. Um, and then tomorrow, let's see, I can't remember who's tomorrow. Why am I so tired? Uh, it's just that kind of a day today. I think so. Oh, Aldrey, she's tomorrow. Mm. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah, so Wednesday stream is going to be, Eldritch is tomorrow, Wednesday. So actually, I need to get in touch with, um, uh, who was it on Wednesday? Um, the RPG monger, because I have a conflict meeting that came up at 11 so I might do it I gotta talk to them but Wednesday might be like a two-parter so I might do like 11 um do like a 10 a.m and then I'd have to cut it pretty short or maybe I might just move the whole stream forward in the day to later um I don't know we'll probably just do an intermission though um yeah, where, like, I do half, and then later on we'll come back, like, in a couple hours and do the other half. Because I don't want to move the date. Um, yeah, very long bathroom break. But I have a, I tried, I have a conflict meeting that I wasn't able to reschedule. So, um, yeah, and it's a really important meeting. So, uh, yeah, but tomorrow, Eldritch, I'm really, really excited about that. And uh, thank you, Arsha, for joining me today on this sleepy Monday. Yeah, no, it's great. Uh, and if anyone hasn't checked out Arsha's stuff, go to our Tumblr, and you can see I uh, linked uh, their Tumblr on uh, our Tumblr. Oh my D and D stuff. <laughs> yeah. You have been have you? I'm gonna actually look really quick because I'm gonna look at your oh, Tumblr. No, cut out. I have not been submitting. <gasps> cute. Yet. Oh my god, look at this cute little char. <laughs> Aww. Oh, adorable. I love really him. <laughs> I love him too. Uh, let's look at this. Let's look at... Oh, cute. Putting I'm putting you on blast right now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I just... oh, I have to hit next at the bottom to go through. Oh, I haven't that. been drawing a lot this year yet. It's, you know, burning out. <laughs> Your art's so pretty. Thank you. I try my best. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, through. Oh. Yeah, so go follow Arsha. Because their art's really good. Do you have Twitter? Yeah, I follow you on Twitter. I probably follow you too. Let's take a look. Yeah. I'm sure I do. Or yeah, What's your I Twitter? A, a gold anarchy. <laughs> oh, of course. But that has nothing to do with... <laughs> Why is Okay, that... when I was... Wait, how do you... <laughs> it's just, this one was a funny name. <laughs> gold anarchy? Wait, is that... God. Oh, God. Like and... goat. Like... Oh, goat. That's right. Yeah, I can speak. Anarchy. <laughs> There you are. Oh, yeah, we do follow each other. Oh, shoot. What did yeah. I do? Yeah, so if you have Twitter, you can follow Arsha on Twitter here. Um, since everyone seems to be on Twitter these days. Uh, you know what I really wish Twitter would do? Um, so right now, I feel like there's a big... On the subject of, like, art and artists, I feel like there's a big... Um, gap in the industry... or in the, uh, There's a big hole that needs to be filled for... Um, uh, hey -o. but also for, um, for, like, art sites to replace Tumblr. So I feel like yeah. when Tumblr got all messed up and a lot of people, you know, migrated off of Tumblr, um, there's been this big gap in the industry for this, and people have been migrating over to Twitter, and I know that one pillow fort tried to come in, but it didn't seem like it's really... Yeah, I don't... Hey haven't been hearing no. a lot about it. No, yeah, I think starting new was just too hard. But if Twitter understood that all the artists are moving over there, I feel like all they would need to do is set up some sort of module, and maybe this is something they're working on or something, but 
to set up a module that would um, uh, be a gallery view or something. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. So, like, I mean, they have media, but that's not really the same thing. Like, but that you could, like, mm -hmm. uh, if, if you, so you'd post something and then you would tag it. Um, you could, like, categorize it, like, gallery. And so anything that you posted that was specifically for your gallery would show up under your gallery view. And then that way it would separate from, like, just normal Twitter social posts. And people could navigate to just your gallery. And then also set up a better tagging system to find art that was more like Instagram. So that you could look at... Because right now yeah, it's kind of a... It's, it's crazy. It is crazy. Instagram sucks. So badly. Yeah, Instagram's uh, not great for anything. For, for photos and and the way they crop things is ridiculously bad. Oh, in this like really harsh like a square, like it has to be a square. Yeah. Yeah, I run into that a lot. Sometimes I'll end up having to like take photos like really far back of things, but like and you can't scan things because they'll crop it really bad. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I can't upload like. Uh, a tarot uh, oh yeah because it's so long and it gets cropped out a lot and like either my watermark will, will crop out or something like important part of the picture will and I'm like what's the point even yeah you have to like make a whole new picture for Instagram that's square um I don't... I'm not about that life <laughs> <laughs> you're like fuck it yeah well that's the thing is if Twitter just I feel like if they just moved on this, I mean, I don't know, you know, I, I just don't understand why, I feel like they need to move on it, because all the artists are here anyway, so, like, why not make a version of, why not use the, use that to make it more friendly for artists and keep them here, as opposed to somebody else coming in and becoming the new Tumblr, you know, like, they could have more... I don't know. It just seems like a no-brainer. Maybe it's something they're working on, but it would be really Maybe. smart. Maybe they're working on some stupid update that would make reading the the, the dash incomprehensible. <laughs> That's probably more likely. <laughs> probably something opposite. Cool. All right. Well, I'll hang back for a sec, Arsha, and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, cut the stream, and then everybody, I will see you tomorrow. And thank you for showing Maybe. up. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.